The time has come to compare the camera kings of the 2019 first half. Huawei P30 Pro takes on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, the Snapdragon variant. Today is daylight comparison, low light will follow hey soon. Hey guys, welcome back to Pixel Peepers. We have today a new video, a daylight comparison between the Galaxy S10 and the Huawei P30 Pro. Right now we're filming with the front facing video. We have 4K at 30 frames per second on the Samsung Galaxy S10 on the left and 1080p at 30 frames per second on the Huawei P30 Pro on my right. It's a beautiful day outside. As you can see, both phones are very stable on the front facing video. I cannot judge the colors or the HDR right now, I have to see the videos on my computer screen to make the final judgment. And right now we are filming at 4K, 30 frames per second. The Huawei is still on my right and the Galaxy is on my left. The Galaxy S10 seems to have more saturated colors. Both phones are pretty stable. I don't know about uh, the P30 Pro jitteriness. We'll have to see it on my uh, computer screen later on. But for now I can see that uh, the P30 Pro skips some frames when panning left or right. Otherwise both phones have pretty good dynamic range. I cannot give a final verdict, but I guess the S10 is still a better phone. And this is 1080p at uh, 30 frames per second. P30 Pro seems to have a pretty bad stabilization, while the Galaxy S10 is smooth as a gimbal. Colors are also slightly different and the Galaxy S10 seems to have better dynamic range or at least that's what I see on my phone screens. The Galaxy S10 has uh, pretty saturated colors. I don't know if I like this better than the P30 Pro or not, I will make up my mind later. And this is the video shot with the ultra wide cameras on both phones. The P30 Pro is again on my right and the Galaxy S10 on my left. The Galaxy seems to be much smoother. The P30 Pro as in the 1080p video with the main lens, seems to be pretty jittery. The field of view of the Galaxy S10 is wider, but not by much. Also let me know which phone has the better sound recording. My feeling is that uh, the Galaxy S10 has the better mics but we'll see that in the final video. Huawei made some big improvements lately on the selfie cameras and P30 Pro doesn't disappoint. I will go as far as to say that it even outperforms the Galaxy S10 Plus front camera. I like the colors and exposure better on the Huawei and as for details, there is simply no comparison. The higher resolution sensor of the P30 Pro is spot on. Switching to the back cameras and starting with portrait photos, both phones do an amazing job. The edge detection and background blur is class leading, details are very good and colors are true to life, even though Huawei seems to do a slightly better job in this regard. 
but where the Galaxy S10 catches up is in dynamic range, having slightly more details in the dark shadows and bright areas of the photos. Nevertheless, top performance from both phones. Moving on to my favorite sensors, the ultra-wide ones, and the quality difference is minimal. The P30 Pro employs some more sharpening, and most of the times the photos taken with the ultra-wide lens seem more detailed than the ones taken with the S10. But the Galaxy has its own ace up its sleeve, and that's an even wider field of view. If I would have to choose, I would pick the S10 here, as I prefer the ultra-wide field of view opposed to more sharpness that, in all honesty, can be added in post-production for the S10. Where there is absolutely no contest between the two phones is in telephoto camera comparison. The 2x optical zoom lens of the Galaxy S10 has nothing on the 5x P30 Pro zoom lens. If we try to zoom 5 times with the Galaxy to match the Huawei, there is a noticeable difference in sharpness and details. So, without any other commentaries, this is a clear win for the P30 Pro flagship. And we've reached the main camera battle. First, I decided to test the AI functionalities for both phones, opposed to their non-AI counterparts. For the S10, we have Scene Optimizer on and off, and for the P30 Pro, Master AI on and off. I am very pleased to see that the AI does a pretty good job on both phones, and it's not overzealous like its first iterations were on the P20 models. I can actually say that I like the AI photos more on both phones, the S10 and the P30 Pro alike. Photos are sharper, with better exposure and more vibrant colors. Next, let's compare the best the S10 can offer against the best the P30 Pro can offer. So I decided to leave AI on for the following photos. And here I must say that both phones do an amazing job, but with some key differences. The P30 Pro has the more photorealistic look, closer to what a DSLR photo can achieve, with shallow depth of field and natural bokeh and background blur, thanks to the much larger physical sensor. But the S10 strikes back with a much sharper and more detailed picture, and sometimes better dynamic range, with most of the times better highlight control. Overall, it is very difficult for me to choose a better camera for photos between the two phones, but given the big quality difference in video recording, I have to give the overall win to the Galaxy. But what do you think about how the two phones compare? Let me know in the comments down below, and also, don't forget to vote for your favorite phone in the poll. Until our second part of this comparison, in low light, have a great day, this is Pixel Peepers, signing out.